Hey, I'm Mike here again. Quick tutorial on how to uh, use triggers. Um, it's basically so you can go up to an object, whether it be a lever or a button or anything, you're creating a level and the player will have to press E to interact with it and something will happen. Uh, it's basically an alternative uh, to just using uh, trigger volumes when you walk into the area, something happens, you know, the player will actually interact. Uh, so yeah, I've just got a simple area, floor. Um, this is just a simple lever I used to build a brush to make. Yes, uh, and this is um, four uh, simple squares uh, I had to import from Maya because you can't convert things if you create uh, convert things to movers if you create them in UDK. Uh, so I just these are just boxes I already had in the content browser. Dragged them in. Um, right, straight off we want to right click on the floor or anywhere, add actor, add trigger. Um, now we want to find it and move it so it's over what we want to interact with and I want it to be this lever so I'm going to put it over the lever. Yeah, it's, you can generally just estimate the area perfectly. Triggers can be a bit fiddly sometimes. Uh, the cylinder around it is the collision area the player has to touch to interact. Um, it's on set on 40. If you just scroll down, if you, have, if you open the trigger, this is on F4 properties, open the trigger tab, go down. Uh, collision height, collision radius set to 40. Uh, if we just put on like 100 or something, that's just uh, the person that taught me this said 200, uh, but for my level, 200 was too much. I didn't find a problem with 100, so let's go 100. Um, and yeah, we want to quickly convert these to movers. So right click convert mover. I don't need to do the top one. Oh well, I did it. <laughs> um, I think actually, I think my mic doesn't seem to record music in the background. I've got a bit of chase this day, so it'd be nice if you could actually hear it. So they're just dealing with my uh, bland voice. I apologise. Um, we want the trigger selected. Open Kismet. Right click. New event using trigger. Used. Um, I love this. It's so much better than just our uh, trigger volume. Um, yeah, then we want to add a new matinee. Link used with play. Um, this bit, this bit could be, get a bit long. So basically, you just go into your matinee and matinee, and then uh, move things as you want to move them, as if you've done a trigger volume, which is very simple. We're like, I'm going to have this second step move out a bit, third one move out a bit.
fiddly sometimes. Um, and then obviously, interact distance. Sometimes put it up, but one two eight isn't too bad. Interact text. Um, I'm thinking that should come up when you aim at it and the option to interact with it. But I, it doesn't seem to come up in the editor when you test it. I think it might come up if you play it properly. Um, you can change times that you can trigger it. This is if you've got a looping thing. So you, uh, yeah, so if you press the trigger, the stairs came out for, say, 10 seconds, then they went back in. So you have to get to the stairs quickly. Uh, if you did that, which would be completed, reversed, that's all that would be. Um, uh, then you'd also need to click on this use thing and increase the max trigger count um, to anything you wanted. But if you put it to zero, that actually counts as infinite. Zero is infinite on the max trigger count. Uh, the ma the retrigger delay, you might want to put on something like a couple of seconds, uh, just so the player can't spam it. Um, yeah, a few options to mess around with. Uh, yeah, it's a, triggers are pretty cool. I like them. Um, I'm thinking this will put it out, and even though it's complete, it hasn't reversed. After all, oh yeah, yeah. and I'll press it again, and it'll come out. It's useful stuff. Anyway, thanks for your time.